today we're going to bring to y'all we don't even know the name of this shit yet what's in your vinyl what's in your wallet you mean <laughs> people keep saying vinyl challenge i'm like no i'm not using our vinyl shit. collection vinyls that hit nigga <laughs> <laughs> i'm about to just tell y'all what the video about i don't know what the title gonna be man we about to show y'all our vinyls through questions i don't know fuck it yeah any questions that we got that we're gonna ask each, each other we're gonna pull out the vinyl and show you what describes what we what the question we asked we're basically just going ask you for example this is going to be the first question for y'all this is an example and it's going to be the first one what's the very first album that was added to your vinyl collection is it okay if i have two pull both of them out well, i got two vinyls because i got i got this vinyl player right you know what i'm saying and then i got two vinyls to go with it you know what i'm saying it as was, a gift as a gift you know what i'm saying it was for my birthday i don't know how old i was probably was like 20. 19 something about right and my ex bought me this you know what i'm saying very great gift in my opinion you very great girl you know what i'm saying Deja, if you out there i see you wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> don't act like he's stuck on his ex or anything if no, any new girls see this or something especially if you're muslim <laughs> especially if you got rather finger waves or, or locks you feel me Say, that's my favorite hairstyle yeah, you know what i'm saying yeah. that finger waves you, you, know what you know what i'm saying first vinyl that i'm gonna tell y'all that i got is forest hill drive Yes, sir. This is probably his best vinyl. I mean, his best album. It's at least top two. At least <laughs> top one. <laughs> it was J. Cole when I got this. This is actually the first album that he actually introduced me to him. Yes, for real, sir. for real. Like, that was me. I always me. knew J. Cole, but this the one that hit me. Like, this the <laughs> one that was like, oh, no. This that nigga right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this J. Cole 2014 Forest Hill Drive sir. is actually one of my favorite. No, I ain't going to say that. I got too much. I got too much. And then the second vinyl. <laughs> you'll just, just say, nah, fuck that. I'm skipping it. You'll just skip the whole sentence. I thought you was about to switch it up. <laughs> nah. The second, <laughs> the second vinyl that I got, and this is one of, this is all time, one of my favorite albums, Flower Boy. This is his best vinyl and uh, album to me. This shit is golden. I ain't gonna lie, Flower Boy, oh, it, it kind of like, Changed my perspective of music a little bit. Bruh, that shit changed my perspective a lot. Everything you can say about production, bro, that changed my perspective about music. But what's yours, Malik? I know you got some heat in that motherfucker, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my boy. Y'all know this, my mans. No, oh, hold on. Let me guess. It's me now. Why the fuck you say it? I thought you was going to keep it to yourself. Keep that shit to yourself next time, nigga. Oh, I didn't know I got it right, nigga. Did I you know said, you got I, it wrong? I said, let me guess. And you let me guess. So yeah. that means I had the opportunity to guess. No, I thought you was going to be like, all right, all right, I got my guess. Go ahead. No, That's what no, I was no. expecting you to do. Anyways, my first vinyl was also, wait, was this a gift or was this? I feel like I bought this one day and I was like, nah, I think I seen it. And I was like, nah, I'm a... it, it probably was a gift. My first vinyl I ever got was Black Swan by my guy Smino. Dang. That was your gift? I'm not sure. I just said uh, that. But, uh, wait, 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 wait. This was the gift. I know exactly what I was thinking about. I'm sorry. Make me understand. This one, Damn. I, I got, I bought at the vinyl store before I ever had a vinyl. Right. So you just this had one that in came the with my vinyl. That's why I was like, yeah. Damn. But this is this is my official first lie. vinyl in that's, my collection. That's kind of different for that to come with your vinyl. Like, I mean, like it was a gift. Like, oh, it was a just gift like with yours. your vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> this album right here is just that's, neo soul. Like that's just like it. it it, it, it got shea butter written all over it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I don't really got much to say about this. Beautiful, wonderful album. Nigga said, what can you say about it? It's a freaking classic. What's your favorite vinyl cover as a art? As a, when you look at the motherfucker, you like, damn. damn. Like, I'm glad to have you in my collection. Mm, 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 mm. I don't really know. I gotta that. really pull out my options for this. I'm not even gonna See, you already brought Flower Boy out, so I'm gonna exclude that. That's how we're gonna do it. <laughs> Yo, these is crazy, bro. For my choice, I'm gonna go with Tame Impala Currents. This is a perfect album cover for this album. Like, this album literally sounds like what this looked like. You see this right here? It's gonna give you the same, like, all right, it's one song, you're like, Yo, yeah. that looks just like, I can't explain it. Exactly, bro. But it's like, it give me that, that, that. But like, if this was like a video and the shit was moving with the music, that's exactly what I imagine when I hear that song. But what's your favorite vinyl cover? Cover? Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with my Ooh. boy. I'm gonna have to go with my boy, Like. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Like, no pun a, intended. Like is a is a is a under 
ground nigga. That's an incredible album cover too. Um, when I see this, it actually gives me the vibe of like, it actually says like, right? Songs made while high. Like, who not going to listen to that album? Yeah. Right when I seen that, I was like, bro, I got to listen to it. I pressed the first song. I was like, oh, nah, this shit about to be crazy. Said, this is me. What is your most listened to vinyl? I know my answer and I have a legitimate reason. I'm sorry. But my, my girl Solange. I see the back. <laughs> my, my girl Solange got to get that. This was my favorite album of 2019. This is one of my favorite albums period is this <laughs> this whole aesthetic this whole art form oh, yeah. everything about it is it, i love it like i love everything about this album and vinyl yo you know this is my wife if no nobody know <laughs> this is my wife so don't play with her you know what I'm saying rico nasty is my side girl that's your most listened to no 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 i just uh, i ain't answered my question yet yo that shit nasty i ain't leave i ain't taking that off either I'm glad that I one know. I'm, I'm glad you got your own. You don't got a whole mouth. Well, no. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> My most listened to vinyl was definitely Knowledge 1988. Damn. And you know why? Because this is a beat tape, but bro, beat tape. Beat tapes are like the most listenable things while you're doing things like studying research and some little to no lyrics to it so it's real easy to listen to while you're just like on your computer getting ideas shit brainstorming mm -hmm. yeah all that um, even rapping yourself shit that too so me being a a, a creative myself a, um man of art that loves art and stuff as i'm doing what i do you know i got different things that i love to do i just throw a beat tape on it'll match the vibe to it simple as that is this your favorite beat tape uh, probably not, but I do love that one. Is he one of your favorites? Producers, yes. What's the best vinyl disc? I might stick with, I might stick with the Divine Feminine. My Yo, it. my nigga, look at this beauty. This fucking art of work. <laughs> this one gotta be my favorite, um, disc. Like, you don't get this nowhere. Yep, this is my favorite vinyl My favorite disc. vinyl? And one of my favorite mixtapes. I'm gonna go with the Long Live... A sad. sad. You know what I'm saying? Just stop bluffing on your freaking new album. That Don't be dumb. <laughs> Whatever like, that shit's supposed to be called. I'm actually interested because I do not know how that disc looks. Oh, that shit is hard. Why the fuck is it that color? I don't know, but that shit is crazy. Girl, it's all marble. <laughs> Bro, who expected a black and white album cover to come out with this? Uh, what's the rarest vinyl that you have? This one right ah. here. <laughs> this is real, real, real special. It's special in many reasons. Not because it's rare, but nigga. <laughs> because it came from the... Bro, you know what I'm saying? The waviest boss. The waviest boss. This is probably fold. This is probably like the most unique gifts I ever gave to anybody. See, all right, I'm gonna read the I'm gonna read the back of it. Let's see what Spike Leak said in 2018 slash 19, whatever it was. Say, all right, so look, treat your first listen of this vinyl like it's your first listen to any other album. There would be no track, track list. Just vibe out to the music. This is my gift to you, bro. I put a lot of work making this vinyl shout out to the shout out to Azriana for making this album cover as so, well this, this one is, is something you can keep forever and ever bro love you forever bro <laughs> spike leak <laughs> waviest boss in the game since 1998 you know all right no like the reason i didn't put a track list with them in there is because i wanted to surprise them with what songs was on it when you first listen to it like bro that's that's the that's one of the most amazing gifts i ever gave anybody just because it's a one of one. I don't know, that shit is crazy. Yeah, that deserved to be up. Yeah. This is an unofficial vinyl that I had. Y'all know I love this album. Tuh. Cherry Bomb. Where do I start at? This is like the most, this is like a beautiful ass disaster. Or like an ugly ass masterpiece. But like, those well, those well don't said. comprehend. It's a lot of twists and turns. This album is really a roller coaster. The highs on this album is higher than a Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa smoke session. What's your most lyrical album? I like that. Uh, I know what yours is. And we might disagree, but I don't give a fuck. I'm saying that. This is my most lyrical one. Sadly, I don't got my favorite Kendrick album, but I got what might be my second. My favorite Kendrick album is To Pimp a Butterfly. This right here is still a lyrical masterpiece you feel me if you ever listen to this you already know like you can tell the other nigga what this album is about without even having them listen to it they could literally make a movie out of this shit let's see if you got the right hey get to the to the real essence you know what i'm saying the 1999 front 
cover of this motherfucker take you back to 1999. Let me start off with the tracks he got. This nigga got Summer Nights, Wave. Man, four through six is just lyrical masterpieces. Just from the dome, from, from the from tombs. the tombs. Survival tactics, amazing. Illuminati, amazing. Hard amazing. Knock, world domination, and <laughs> you funky hoes. You don't got, you don't got re- right, 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 right. snakes. Don't front. Righteous minds, righteous minds. Where is that? Third eye, shit. Snicker was seventeen. Bro, I don't care what none of y'all say. Nineteen ninety nine, Joey will outrap any person in any era, bro. That's on me. Damn, that shit hard. That shit. What the hell? This shit is hard. I forgot this looked like this. <laughs> I forgot this looked like this. To be honest, I'm not even gonna lie. I thought this was black. Classic. You can still bump this to this day. What is your most relaxing album? I feel like I ain't even gonna lie to y'all channel. I already threw the one that was most relaxing in there. Uh, you want to pick it up? No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go oh. with the internet. The internet got it on that. I'm not even gonna hold you. Yo, shut that shit up over there, man. This one got everything beat. I'm sorry. Damn. That shit even look like a relaxing. That's what I'm saying, bro. This is honestly the most soothing album, bro. This shit will put you to sleep, bro, because it's so soothing. And you can't get more soothing and relaxing than sleep. Come on now. What vinyl puts you into another setting? It don't even have to be putting you in space. It could put you on the beach. It could put you here, there. It don't matter. I'm going to go with my man's Cardi. Hey, my guy, you feel me? Like, we going to start off with our location. Beautiful. I mean, flex. The second half. What the? Let it go. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Man, this is a very, very sleeper vinyl. Dang. It's not for us two, but like, oh you my man. I gotta go to this dog right here. This is a beautiful ass mm. album. Mm. Rather, if it's make me feel like. I'm relaxing on vacation or make me feel like I'm floating, transcending somewhere, out of space, it don't matter. This shit gonna hit either way. If y'all ain't ever listened to this album, Home Shake, I'm gonna uh, suggest three songs for you. Listen to Call Me Up, K-H-M-L-W-U-G-H, and Wrapping Up. Those are three. And if you like it, you feel me, it goes bob to the rest of the course. I highly recommend this one, man. This is some relaxing, chill, vibing ass shit right here, man. You can't you can't lose with this. What album do you want more people to listen to? I definitely would have picked Home Shake, the one I just threw down. But, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. Blood Orange right here. He is a ama He's an amazing musician. Uh, he's also a very, very creative, down to earth. It shows a lot of character. Shows a lot of his artistic vision. Favorite song off here is Jewelry, though. You get it twisted. A Vulture, Vulture <laughs> Baby. Because... <laughs> Even though that shit is like a, a minute song, that shit is just smooth. What I want people to listen to, I already threw it out there, and it's like, but out of the people that I, that I got to, fuck you. Ooh! I like that pick. I forgot you had that shit. It's Robert Glasper. <laughs> this man is hard. He's one of the best musicians ever. Last question of the day. Out of my vinyl collection, which one would you take home? So let's swap Oh, he said, damn. See, that's how you know. Y'all just got to listen to it because out of all this heat right here, he picked that one up because it's like that. It's well, really like that. I like the cover. I like the back. I like the lineup. The music. <laughs> I like the aesthetic. <laughs> Yo, you shit, say that word so funny. This shit is like you going into a whole nother dimension. It's like you going up. Oh, yeah. And then you walk up straight. <laughs> then it's Don't like, that usually happen? We're going steps? into an illusion. <laughs> Swap seats with you, I so I can see what what we got over here, man. So for real, for real, I love this, but I'm like, like I want to pick this so badly, but I'm like, do I even care to get this on the vinyl? I know it's one of my favorite albums, but nah, I'm gonna go with the internet. I actually do love the internet. Um, and we talking about vinyl plays a big part when you say vinyl. Yeah, because, like, this is one of my favorite albums, but I would rather have this as a vinyl. Honestly, when people call, talk about 10 out of 10 albums, I don't. I wonder why this isn't mentioned. Because this is a 10 out of 10 in my eyes. This shit is very, like, very well put together. Now, give my seat back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about our honorable mentions. 
These are the ones that didn't get the opportunity to be an answer to the questions. So we just gonna run through these real quick. You know what I'm saying? Iron Man, Ghostface. Got this beautiful piece right here. Mac Miller faces. 10 out of 10, by the way. So I got logic, you know what I'm saying? Under pressure. No worries. Yes, Lord. Another 10 out of 10 in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Earl sweatshirt. You know what I'm saying? It's called Earl. I'm honestly surprised this classic, this masterpiece ain't make the video, but at long last, ASAP by ASAP Rocky. I got this by Joey Badass. You know what I'm saying? I got this. <laughs> I also have a Flower Boy tape. I know he mentioned Flower Boy earlier, so. I also have a Mac Miller. Oh, shit. You know I forgot saying? you had that. <laughs> I got uh, Slum Village, Fantastic Volume 2. Jay Dillon Production is always a W, you feel me? Thundercat, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 facts. Beautiful album. I got Drake, Take Care. You know fire. What I'm Classic. Very fire. Nothing was the same. Ugly ass nigga, but fire. So Drake and the bitches. <laughs> For real. Oh, Old yeah. Dirty. You know what I'm saying? Old Dirty Bastard. Another Wu-Tang member. I got My Blonde by Frank Ocean. This is still sealed. Have, have never listened to it. I got Only Built Cubit Links, you know what I'm saying? By Ray Kwan, the chef. You know what I'm saying? Wu-Tang. Another Wu-Tang member. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep the rules up. Freddie Gibbs, Alfredo, you feel me? And we both got Care For Me by Saba. You feel me? Very 10 out of 10. Hopefully, y'all had even half of a good time watching this as we had showing y'all just like uh, that nigga said on uh pound King. we enjoyed playing it for you this is sadly the end of the video uh actually let me know down below uh what your favorite vinyls of our collections is and what surprised you which uh vinyl collection do you prefer the most personal for all the homies out there wish you have a wonderful day receive a lot of blessings money and positivity for the day tomorrow and forever and if you're not a homie, you know what I'm saying? You can become one by supporting your boy and my homie right here. Aesthetic. By hitting the like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notifications on, and you'll be a homie. Also, um, be in tune for more. I'm trying to get this whole Discord thing down to a T so I can start that up. We can have a whole chat and get, you know, close to each other. As a community, that's all I want, you feel me? Because I love all my homies, which is y'all. Everyone that's watching and supporting. Yeah, Spike League tuning out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a smooth ass day. Your lady is pretty as tuning out. May all peace be upon you. See y'all next time.